Hey guys. Yeah, I'm just doing a video. I want to get it out there before I forget. Something doesn't make sense. This has been a continuation from my videos from yesterday. And I just think it's very bizarre. I was mentioning yesterday that they were some of my videos were censored. One in particular, they, 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 they say that something with uh, something copyright infringement and everything was just an audio video. You know, so it's my audio, my voice, and then my, um, it has what you call video generators. Like, like it's like a, a, a pretty picture, you know, a, it, it could be a blank, you know, like a ball bouncing or bubbles, um, just a weird thing. It just, you know, a, a filler, so you could use it as a visual rather than just having a blank screen and you're just hearing a voice. So, later on yesterday, after I, after I discovered that was done to a video. Again, I have almost 400 videos. And so, and, and I'm still relatively new to how net, how YouTube works and um, they can email you to an email address that you don't use. Like to open up the account, you have to have like a, an email. You know, and they did that to me in the store, you know, when they, got my cell phone, they gave me that account, that it was a Gmail account. So I I don't really know what a Gmail account is, you know, but it's to open up the account. I did, you know, they, they did it for me. Um, so I didn't know that I was getting mail sent to this address. And so I think so one day I, I had to access this Gmail account and that's when I discovered I was getting emails. But anyway, so this particular person, and I and I did the the, the video pertaining to it. I, I um, showed you guys who claimed it was their work, you know, even though it's my voice <laughs> and everything. And then and then later on yesterday, after because I, I disputed it as I shared with you guys, and then. I went back to take a look or something. I was scrolling through my chat and I see that video again. And then they, 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 they did something else for that same video. It's it just weird. Yeah, so I think, I think what it was like the first time it was just something uh, that made, maybe the, the graphics and the content. And then they're blocking it because of the, the um, subject matter. Wow. And so I started to go through the other things. And wow. I, I'm seeing that like I thought that so yeah, the term social media. I was trying to remember that word yesterday, social media, but the it it the phrase just didn't pop in my mind. Yeah. So I mean to say social media. Sharing information. And I'm like, e even with using this social media, I started seeing, seeing patterns, patterns of things, you know, I, I, I have a science background and, and I think so in my training and plus my personality type. I, I when I see patterns or things that keep repeating, that's like a pattern, things that repeat. And it, if it's cyclic, that's a pattern. So I noticed that there was a pattern of the type of people who would maybe watch my videos. If all things being equal, and I'm seeing YouTube is no different from outside of the cyber world, outside of the internet. It's the same. It's one of the same. The physical world that we live in, you know, on, on a social basis, and who you think you're meeting is um, a, a rare chance. It's not rare, a rare chance. 
that everything is being constructed socially. Who you meet, who's on that train that you go on, the job you're on. You know, there's certain patterns, like certain people work in certain industries, certain people go to certain schools. It's not by chance. And social media, the internet, is just an extension of that world too. I, I hope I can get everything else that I remember, those because I was just in bed and I'm trying to remember what I wanted to say. So, what was that now? So, as I was mentioning in my video just before this one about social engineering and our things. Do you have equal chances, equal opportunity? Networking. And I'm seeing no. It's like even where you live is being socially constructed. How's that? Well, the old school, you know, you, you, you get a, a really turn. And let's say you have money. You know, the realtor only shows you certain neighborhoods, certain locations. Don't you ever wonder why people of certain groups seem to be living next to each other? If everything is equal? I mean, yeah, yeah, some uh, areas might be specific. Let's say it's an artist community, and all the artists, because you know, you have a loft and they do certain type of work and they might invite each other. You know, so some things you can understand. But if you all go to certain types of school, you know, high school, and you have different types of people, you know, and then when you go in this type of environment, it's all exclusive. So I started noticing a little bit, but not really, but not saying anything until I got the video, I'm sorry, not video, until when I opened up another social media thing uh, about two weeks ago now, and I went and perused it yesterday, I noticed something didn't seem right. Where did these people come from? That I don't know. They're not of my ethnicity. They're not from the country. Now, YouTube allows you to, um, they allow you to see your demographics by age, country, and gender. At least, uh, at least what I know of, what I was able to physically discover and, and witness for myself. I said, okay, that's neat. And you can see a list of all your subscribers, which is cool. You get this recognize the name, you know, at a, at a, inst, uh, at an instant. So these, so on Facebook, when I reviewed, reviewed it, and again, that the account is, is about a week old or, or, or no more than two weeks old. And they said recommended friends, or these are people that you may know. Okay. And where did it come from? So I did the video yesterday that how are they deciding? How is the social networking managers? How are they deciding who you're going to meet? Who they're going to select for you when they're not on my contact list? Like I know, like I learned that, like when you get a like a cell phone or something. Um, that we get emails, they would link, and I didn't know this was going to happen, that they link it to your phone. And and when I open it, all these contacts, like, where did all these contacts come from? Well, any transaction, you go to a store, they send an email, the company that you did business with gets in your contact. Or of course, you have a friend, you put in your friends, and folks, okay, that's understandable, but, but for all these other contacts that you don't know, people from school, the, 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 the school might contact you, it gets out there too. 
I said, wow. I, I just, wow. So, so you have all these different contacts. But out, even outside of those contacts, none of those people were suggested to me as a possible uh, friend of mine. None of them, so no one from school, not even my siblings who have my YouTube account. They weren't even linked onto my Facebook as a possible friend. Okay, that, that, that's what really shook me. My brother just, uh, one of my brothers just uh, uh, subscribed to my account. He's not there. So, it's, 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 it's telling that he, the, 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 the analog or whatever is deciding for you who they think you should contact or like. Why? I don't know. I don't even know what these people previously did with. That's another thing with, with, to, to leave people common language. You know, like a, a lot of my viewers are English speakers because I speak English. So it's understandable that all your subscribers can speak English. So that's not a surprise for me. So, um, I mean, I think more is the merrier, you know, to, to have variety. But this isn't even variety. Because all things being equal, you should see like a salad. You can have a predominance of the spinach over the, the, the broccoli or carrots, you know. It, you know, but but this goes beyond it. It's too obvious for me that something is not right, and I don't like it because I want to feel like I'm in control. That I'm in control of my destiny, and I see that I'm not. But then on the the, the other the other thing is well. Hey, maybe just go with the flow. Let's just say, hey, maybe there's something behind these people. But just something is telling me no. <laughs> it's not it's not the, the equal chance. So how is this gonna possibly affect my YouTube channel or any networking? I mean, it's with a social, social media. How is it going to affect me? And I think that's the real question. And I, I'm seeing also something else now. Okay, like none of my videos uses profanity, or in my opinion, there's no hate speech. You know, I'm, I'm not about promoting hate, and I was surprised. Like sometimes on, on YouTube, they, like on the on the right hand side again, they say related channels. Okay, but I'm just starting to notice that. So now they have related channels, and I looked, and they had this um, YouTuber who does use hate speech. Blanking hate speech, that the you know, pejorative terms that you should get rid of them and blah blah blah. You've never heard me say anything like that, and I would never say that. But this person was suggested for me. Now I have watched this person's YouTube. And, 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 I, and then at one point, I wasn't listening to the wall. I, it was a new YouTuber. I was watching the pe person for maybe three months, and then I kind of, you know, not really watching them. So I was surprised when they said related, because I wasn't just watching. I thought they'll say related related um, channel if you just watch their, one of their, uh, their videos or something. But no, I wasn't watching this person's video, and I see it right next to mine as a related channel. And I said, wait a minute. So I realized, guys, what happened. 
because of that one video at that time that I, that was brought to my attention um yeah was that it could have been earlier this week that they they said that the video uh is not being considered for monetization uh because uh you use uh, what do you call it um advertiser friendly yeah that's the term you use it's not advertiser friendly so i'm confused like what did i say in my video now this other youtuber that person goes right off then i'm in compliance and the person admits it and so that's why they have a backup they have like a a website okay so is it because i i had a video that that uh had a keyword let's say uh somebody's uh, the name of a religion or a ethnicity or something but turn into a group yes so far yeah you know yeah that's what that's what i see now like the, the video that i spawned that that i saw yesterday that was blocked it was a a name of a region in the world and then another video that they said said that was problematic was of a particular religion that's in the media today but it's not against or about the religion it, it discusses about uh, the, 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 the social group I belong to you know so it's not a hate speech you know because I'm a part of that group but I think that because I use a word maybe it's in the title I mean yeah it was in the title that certain words are being flagged it's being flagged and innocent but but I use another word in another video that was made the same week but that one wasn't flagged but I, I, I I'm talking about the two of the same people but one was flagged I mean, it wasn't a that word, but basically it's the same, it's the same people I'm talking about. Same word. I mean, not the same word, but it, it means the same thing, but just using a different word. So, YouTube sounds like, I don't know whether it's the pairing of words. But certain, so, so why I'm sharing this information is that to protect you guys out there, my subscribers or viewers, that if you want to put out a video, you have to be creative about the title of the words, the, 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 the title that you use, the words that you use in that title, and maybe something with the tags, that, that some, some things, and especially because I just monetized. Okay, I just did the monetization two weeks ago, or approximately two weeks ago. And so now, it, it seems I'm really being flagged because now money is involved. So if you, if, let's say you YouTubers who do this for a living and rely on every penny, you know, that, you know for survival, you have to be creative about the titles you use. You can't just use any title. And in, I guess in the tags too. So just keep it brief. <laughs> the titles I get, you know, real generic. And then just have the meat of the, you know, the real essence in the video. So again, you're going to see, is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it the title? Is it the tags that you use? Or is it somehow they're able to scan the video? I have a feeling that something with the video, that they can scan that too. Or maybe if you have the keywords listed, then, then they scan it. Boom. 
And you know what else was coming to my mind? That person that claimed that they own my video, even though it's my voiceover. <laughs> That's what it was when it was like an audio video. And so they said that there was a content in it that was theirs, and then now they're saying it's something about the the, 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 the video itself, the information. And so I took a picture, I, I, I videoed that person's name. You know, I, it looks like a, like a company, something, something weird. Or maybe it's their, what do you call it, like the YouTube name or something like that. I think maybe those names, though that they're not like real YouTubers, but people who are, who plot, who go in, and if they see a political, something political, they come in and then they throw in a bone, what do you call that, a stick in the spoke of your, of your wheel to trip you. Trip you for making money, trip you for, you know, you can't, you know, that they'll, they'll, they'll tell them to pull, to block it. They didn't delete it though, but I heard that some people, and this one YouTuber that I know of, you know, that person is very blunt. They say it. They say they, they hate speech, whatever. And their video, I think they, they, they removed it. Okay, but I don't say hate speech like that. That's not my nature. So I guess when <laughs> they're giving me a warning about certain topics, and I think it's amazing. You, we both watch YouTube, and we see that some videos are extremely vulgar, and it's meant to to be vulgar, to be gross, to be highly suggestive. But they, they don't pull it. They don't, they don't block it. And I am anti-violent. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't like violence in any form. And I'm not into cursing, but have I used or let it work before? Yes, I have. But you know what I'm getting at, guys? You, we all see what's out there, and that only certain people, there, there are people who use the N-word. Could you believe it? And so they're gonna say that's um, appropriate, or that's, um, what do you call it, advertiser friendly? Oh, I don't know what else I wanna say. I did a video a year ago uh, regarding Dr. Sebi, and one of the videos I did said was um, stop, uh, be respectful of Dr. Sebi's death. You know, I'm I'm old school, meaning that you don't say bad things about bad people who just died. You know, especially if you're an old person. You know, I'm just that's just me. How I was made. You don't say any whether the person's bad or not. You don't say bad things about people who just died, especially the elderly. And did you know that they said that was not advertiser friendly? Could you believe that? That's not advertiser friendly to say stop, stop saying bad things about old people. I kid you not, when I was scrolling through my videos yesterday, I was curious to see, hey, what else might have been blocked or whatever, warning. Yes, that one. That one they said is, I cannot monetize. Wow, I, I'm just dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. So you could say the N word, all these angry things, be vulgar, but you can't respect the elderly. Because uh, it's not advertiser friendly. Come on, come on guys, this is, this isn't right, this isn't right, I, I'm just completely shocked, like, so what is it then, what is it?
I, I don't know what to make out of this. What was the whole point? I, I, I'm just, I'm just completely dumbfounded about what's being done. Why would that offend her? Oh, oh, so I remember the other point I was going to make regarding, you know, my saying, you know, don't make fun of, you know, the people who, you know, dead people. That I started asking myself, okay, what type of advertisers are there that want to connect with me and my channel? Well, one, one advertiser was like a, a museum in New York City. Um, and then another one that I thought was shocking. And, and it's not my nature, and I wouldn't have this. It's, it's some commercial with a Caucasian woman, middle aged, in a boardroom. Do, you know, and at a boardroom meeting, she takes a saw and, 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 and I forget what you call it, like a jack saw, you know, those, those electric saws, and then look at Amy, she races in the room and starts destroying the property in the room. So that's use of that, that's advertiser friendly. These advertisers are friendly. That's totally against my, um, I consider that violence. That is totally not me. But they put that but they put that on my video as an advertiser. Wow. <laughs> so who are these advertisers? I don't know. And then when I was going to bed last night, um, sometimes I just before I go to bed, I I look on my tablet to see what was the, you know, any news, you know, news headlines and something about this, this bomb that was uh, dropped in Afghanistan. Well, this is really hot, I think. And I don't want any of you to be scared. Don't be scared because that's what they want you to be, afraid. They said that um, this it's called the M O A B, and it's it's a bomb. It's it's called the mother of all bombs, I think, and it's also called something else. But let me tell you that you know what that word spells? Moab. Who's Moab? Okay, nothing that you see or hear is just by chance. And that's one of them. Okay, Moab was a, an ancient people of the Bible from the Middle East slash Canaan slash Palestine. Okay, and they. I, I forgot what this group did. I think Moab or Moabite, that I think they're descendants of Lot, and Lot had two daughters, and he had a, a in such a relations with them, and they got both daughters got pregnant, and one I think is the the family of the Moabites of the ancient world. So here you got the Middle East again, the Middle East, or near the Middle East, and they dropping a Moab right, you know, not too far from where the Bible characters come from, okay? So they, they're setting a picture, a biblical picture of events. You hear that? That's what's happening. They 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 want you to get sensitized. They want you sensitized to what's going on. That is, you know everything in the Bible. You know everything in the Bible is good. The genocide in the Bible is good, isn't it? Yeah, right. So they threw out the term Moab. And it's a bomb, and it, it's not an atomic bomb, 
it's over 21,000 pounds of explosive. They said they dropped it, at least how the media is spinning it, that they dropped the bomb on Afghanistan because one soldier got killed. I think they said a Green Beret or something. I mean, no, any, 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 any death is bad. I'm not trying to say that, oh, what's one death? No, any death, any human life, any animal life that's lost is a tragedy. But wow. That, that, that's just the reasoning. So I started thinking, what does that remind me of? It reminds me of what, what, what the excuse that World War II, you know, when, um, when that country had bombed Pearl Harbor and then the U.S. dropped its A-bombs, several of them, I, I think about three of them, on a civilian population. Okay, so it reminded me of that. Was it equal forces? Now, if someone, I can understand someone using a, 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 a particular weapon, then you use that same type of weapon to get them to counterbalance, but to do like an overkill? And then the media's fun is that it's to give a lesson to another country who's not involved, you know, that they, they want to use it as, an, as, a, as a lesson for somebody else. So if someone kicks you, but then I'm going to do something, but I'm really doing it against another person. What type of logic is that? See, it's all to scare you. And you notice like the term ISIS, and it's supposed to be a, 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 an anagram. I think it's not a... a I, 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 I forget, anagram is it? What's it when you, ha when you have each letter mean something? Just like Moab. But it, it, it means something else. But the word together makes a word, like Isis. What's that? That's an Egyptian thing. See, again, the Middle East. And so they're making it and they're tantalizing it for you to be so groomed you know, tuned into the arena. They want, they, it's setting you up for the arena of the Middle East and all its drama. Don't believe the hype and don't be afraid because it's all nonsense. You stay calm out there. You let those buffoons, you know, you let them, you know, you just ignore them. They're just trying to um, frighten you. So you know, my YouTubers are intelligent and they can see through baloney. See through the hype, it's all hype. And also pray for all of us though, you YouTubers and viewers out there. Pray for us all, pray for peace on the planet Pray for love, love through love, not love through war. I'm against war and violence. And uh, I, I guess maybe the, the uh, what do you call it, the advertisers may not even like that. But you know, even stuff, it just cues in a memory to, you know, a thought to me. Now, we've all watched television before at some time, and you know television has advertisers. Don't you notice like the news? The news people have advertisers. Now, if these advertisers could go on the news and, and the news talks about all types of grisly things, but yet they want to advertise, so how come with YouTubers, with their content, and my content is very mild, how come they're saying that it's not advertiser friendly when advertisers want to be at any point where you have viewership. They, can, they couldn't care less what the content is about. It's about just getting their name out there. So why, what, why are they making this an excuse on, on, on social media if it's about monetization that, oh, it's not advertiser friendly?
everybody's watching. So that's a lie. It's again what they call social engineering and modification. Social modification. Maybe I should call this video that social modification and control. So yeah. So you guys, I, I hope you like this video. And I hope the sound came out clear. I just really wanted to get out this information. I feel that by my that that this could save somebody. This information. It can save them a headache and help them get out of the matrix. So yes. So share this video on your social media platforms. Discuss your experiences that may be happening on your social media, especially once if you've gone what they call monetization. Yes, and you could subscribe to Spirit Journey. And I also have other accounts, YouTube channels, that I really don't use anymore, but I, I, I have a lot of other videos. My channel that I had just before, Spirit Journey channel, is called Black Palm Warning. And then I also have another one called Azalea B as a boy. And then I also have another one regarding my little pet called Little Paws. So, um, yeah, so you could uh, feel free to, to peruse those videos, and, um, yeah, and if you like this video and you want to see more of this content, you know, um, yes, um, you could, uh, support my endeavors, and you could, uh, do donate so that you can continue watching quality content videos like this. And uh, you can do this through PayPal me. And it's uh, uh, PayPal slash spirit with a capital S and then uh, J-N-Y, Jason Jack, and it's a Nancy, Y as in yes, in caps. And that is a way that you could uh, support my endeavors. And you know, as, as always, you can give me the thumbs up. Take care, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.